Let's look at the shapes and layers of epithelial tissue so that we can categorize them correctly. So these are the shapes of epithelial tissue. And then on the other side of this page, we'll draw the layers of epithelial tissue. Okay, so the important things there are the words shape and layers. Now let's have a look at it. So the shapes aren't that difficult to understand. Epithelial cells come in three shapes. One is sort of this ovoid or oblong shape, and I've just added a little nucleus. Whenever you see a little dot like that, that's the nucleus. Remember that all epithelial cells have a nucleus and a basement membrane. So this shape, which is kind of like a fried egg, is called squamous or squamous, which means flat. Okay, You'll see it in different ways. Sometimes it'll look like this, where it's very flat, and then other times it's more ovoid like this. But all of these are squamous. They're all flat or scale-like. Right, kind of like uh, reptile scales on a snake or something like that. Okay, the next shape is called cuboid. And of course, this means these cells are shaped kind of like a cube. Okay, so these are cuboidal. Cuboidal. This is a cube or a three-dimensional square, right? Cuboidal. And what have I forgotten to add here is a nucleus. And our third type, our third shape, is really tall and thin, and this one's called columnar. Columnar. And we'll just put a nucleus in that. Trying to give it a little dimension there. So this one is columnar, like a column. Tall and thin. Okay, and all of these are sitting on a basement membrane, every one of them. Okay, now let's look at the layers of epithelial tissue that are also used to categorize. So we're gonna use our shapes and we're just gonna put them in different layers. Okay, so the first layer we're gonna do is called a simple layer. And you can imagine that just means one layer of cells thick. So it's just one layer of cells sitting directly on a basement membrane. Now there's our squamous cells, or, or we could have our cuboidal. There's just a layer of cuboidal cells. And again, always stick your nucleus in there. And then of course we could have one layer of columnar cells sitting on a basement membrane. Right, so let's call this layer simple. Simple means one. So if it's a simple epithelium, it has one layer, regardless of whether it's squamous, cuboidal, or columnar. It just means there's only one layer. The next type uh, of layer we could have would be called stratified. So when it's stratified, just like the word strata, that means many layers. And so here I'm just drawing an example of many layers of squamous on a basement membrane. Okay, you could have 
several layers of cubes, a cuboidal. So here's just two layers. Anything that's not a single layer is considered stratified. Just like the word strata, which means many. Okay, another type of layer we could have would be something called pseudostratified. I'm going to write that first so you can see it. Pseudo means false. So pseudostratified means false layers. And that it looks like it's many layers, but it's really not. So how we could draw that simply is to use this columnar cell, draw a couple of them, and then I'm just going to make it look like one is peeking out from behind the other one. And we'll draw another couple, and then we'll do that there so that that one doesn't really look like it's touching the basement membrane. But in fact it is. So regardless of how the cell is tilted, because usually it's sliced on an angle, the tissue is sliced, and so it, the nuclei might be at different levels, and the cells appear to be arranged in, in layers. And I'm going to add some cilia, because that's typical of this particular type of cell. So it's easy to remember this arrangement, and typically uh, has cilia, not always, but this is pseudostratified in that uh, some of these look as though they may not be attached to the basement membrane like uh, this one, this one, but there it really is. So they're all at the same layer. I'm sorry, they're all at the same level. They're all single layer uh, and they're all attached to the basement membrane. They just appear to be many layers. But that's not true. They are, it's just one layer of cells. They're just sliced on an angle when the sample is taken, almost impossible to prevent. So it's just the appearance of having many layers, but actually being one layer. Now the last one is called transitional. Transitional. And that has a many layered appearance with what appear to be different cell types. I'm going to leave that part off and draw it. And then when we actually define transitional as a tissue, it'll make sense. So let's just draw some columnar appearing cells. And then this looks like a single layer sitting on a basement membrane. And then on top of that, I'm going to add some cuboidal. On top of that, I'm going to add what appear to be squamous cells. So it looks like I've got all three shapes here. And this one's kind of hard to add the nuclei, but you can tell here this transitions through several different cell types. And there's a reason for that. It has to do with this tissue is often found in the bladder. So in the urinary bladder, and one other place, but the urinary bladder is the most common one to be aware of where there is transitional tissue. And that's so the bladder can stretch out when it's full. And so this will take on a very different appearance when the bladder is full. But for right now, it looks as there are many different types uh, or shapes of epithelial tissue. Cells are stacked on top of one another. And that's transitional. Okay, so we've got our shapes, squamous, cuboidal, and columnar, and then we have our layers, simple, stratified, pseudostratified, 
and transitional. 